When it comes to powerful images of wartime, few things are more iconic than a missile dropping over friendly or foreign territory. Missiles have always been sources of terrible destruction, but today's missiles are more powerful than ever before. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the most insane, badass military missiles active in 2020. 1. The Hovese Cruise Missile Iran's ballistic missile programs are fairly well known, but their developments in the field of cruise missiles have flown a little more under the radar. For those not familiar with the difference, a ballistic missile is one that is targeted and launched from somewhere, but relies on gravity to fall to its target. A cruise missile, on the other hand, is essentially an unmanned aircraft, able to self-navigate to its target and relying not on gravity or momentum to reach its final destination but on engines, typically jet propulsion systems. So, with that out of the way, Iran's testing of ballistic missile systems has made the news repeatedly over the last several years. But parallel to those tests, they've also been working on increasingly sophisticated cruise missiles. The most recent currently active cruise missile in Iran's intimidating artillery is called the Hovese. Unveiled in February 2019 on the 40th anniversary of the 1979 Iranian Revolution at a defense exhibition in Tehran, the Hovese is an Iranian-designed and built all-weather, surface-to-surface cruise missile. It uses a turbojet engine and has a range of roughly 840 miles, which is small in the grand scheme of all global missile stores, but significant for Iran's budding missile program, and is capable of flying at low altitudes. It has high precision targeting and is considered exceptionally accurate. It is at least the second in a series of cruise missiles called the Somar family of missiles being developed and built in Iran. This development is troubling for many in the Western Hemisphere as cruise missiles are incredibly hard to defend against and its range would allow the missile to reach and do significant damage to any target within Israeli territory, a capability which could easily turn into a geopolitical nightmare. 2. Umkanto Surface-to-Air Missiles the Umkanto family of short-range, all-weather, vertical-launch surface-to-air missiles are made in South Africa by Denel Dynamics. The name Umkanto was chosen because it means spear in Zulu. The very first missile launch tests for the Umkanto family were performed in 2005, and Denel has since come out with two blocks of missiles, which use, and were the first missiles ever to use, infrared homing guidance systems. Most recently, they successfully tested both the Umkanto IR Block II and Umkanto ground-based launcher system starting back in 2013. Both Block I, from 2005, and the more recent Block II used tail-mounted control fins, lock-on after launch targeting technology, and low smoke propellants to help avoid radar detection. They both have operational ranges of a little over 12 miles, much shorter than cruise missiles like the Hovese, but fairly standard for short-range anti-aircraft missiles like these. The function of the Umkonto and similar systems is, essentially, to be able to be shot from land or a boat to counter airborne threats like aircraft, anti-ship missiles, drones, and supersonic cruise missiles. The Block II being the second and more advanced iteration of the missile, its infrared guidance has an improved seeker head algorithm to better differentiate between targets and background clutter. These missiles are most notable for this guidance system, which seems straight out of an action movie. Missiles that can track and follow their targets using infrared technology are exciting and terrifying. Which is probably why the powerful Block II is now fully active in the South African, Algerian, and Finnish navies, and in negotiations with the Egyptian navy. The Umkanto family is, additionally, one to keep an eye on because Denel is known to be working on additional missiles with rocket boosters for extended range and new radar-based seeking technology, meaning the next generation may be ever more fearsome. 3. RIM-174 Standard EVAM Sticking with surface-to-air missile tech, we next look to the RIM family of American missiles, and particularly the RIM-174 Standard ERM anti-ship and anti-air missile. When it comes to missile stockpiles and capabilities, the U.S. has a plethora to choose from. It's difficult to pick just one or two of their many powerful missiles. However, the RIM-174, on active duty since 2013, stands out for its range, power, and accuracy as an extended-range surface-to-air missile. It works in tandem with the RIM-S2 and S3 long-range missiles, which have much longer ranges but slightly reduced accuracy. Let's take a closer look at this incredible missile. 
the REM174 weighs 3,300 pounds and, thanks to its two-stage propulsion system, has a range of 150 miles. The SM3, for context, has a range of 560 miles. The RIM-174 is nonetheless impressive. Built to be launched from sea or land, the RIM-174 is powerful enough to take down fixed and rotary wing aircraft and ballistic missiles. It has also been proven effective in tests as an anti-ship missile, sinking the decommissioned USS Reuben James in a 2016 demonstration. The RIM-174 has a much longer range than a short-range surface-to-air missile like the Umkanto, but doesn't come close to matching large-scale cruise missiles, let alone ICBMs, or intercontinental ballistic missiles. So why don't we take a look at one of those? 4. Agni-V the Agni-V is the fifth and most recent in the Agni series of missiles designed by the government of India and built by Indian manufacturer Bharat Dynamics Limited. Didn't know India had ICBMs? Well, now you do. The Agni-V began development in 2007 as part of India's nuclear deterrence program against China, as the most advanced Indian missiles at the time could not reach China's most easterly regions. The Agni-V began tests in 2012 and was most recently tested in 2018. At present, it's considered ready for duty and awaiting official induction. The Agni-V, which, like the RIM-174, weighs 3,300 pounds, has an impressive range. The official range for the missile is up to 3,600 miles, but there are rumors it is in fact capable of an operational range of up to 5,000 miles, with some believing India, which has kept the exact range classified, is keeping its full capability under wraps to avoid causing international concern. It is a three-stage rocket that makes use of solid fuel and composite motor casing to reduce its total weight. It is the third stage that gives the Agni-V its significantly extended range. Already a powerful missile, the next rumored development for the Agni-V is MIRVs, or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, which would allow it to launch with as many as 10 warheads at a time. The biggest challenge to that plan would be adapting the launching and missile systems to the significantly increased weight that would bring. Five. Hwasong-15 Moving on to another country whose missile programs seem to make the news on an all-too-regular basis, we look to North Korea and their latest development in the missile sphere, the Hwasong-15, U.S. designation KN-22. While not the first ICBM ever built or tested out of North Korea, the Hwasong-15 is certainly the most powerful. North Korea tends to hold its cards close to its chest, so what we know is mostly derived from experts observing and calculating based on known data. The missile has an estimated operational range of 7,000 miles, with some weapons experts believing it could reach as far as 8,100 miles with a lessened payload, meaning it could potentially reach the east coast of the United States from Korea, and certainly many of the US's European allies closer to North Korea. It's a two-stage missile with a first-stage booster that closely resembles the Titan II, an American ICBM that was in service from 1962 to 87. Less is known about its second stage. We do know that the missile's updated propulsion system gives it a 170% boost in thrust versus earlier versions, and that its re-entry vehicle has a blunter nose than previous iterations, which suggests it may have been designed to hold multiple warheads, MIRVs, or decoys along with real warheads. Given that the most recent test of the Hwasong-15 was in 2017, we can only guess what even more intimidating missiles North Korea may have since begun developing or what improvements they may have made to this model. As recently as March of 2020, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said that the world would witness a new strategic weapon in the near future. Though the small authoritarian country has a reputation for emphasizing appearances over capability, there's no doubt that this is an ICBM that could do some serious damage. 6. The M51 SLBM and Twister Program At present, France is the only member of the European Union with ICBMs. Their only fully active ICBM is the M51 SLBM, a three-stage submarine-launched ballistic missile with a range of roughly 6,200 miles. Built by Ariane Group for the French Navy, the M51s are intimidating weapons, but their presence alone may not be sufficient to defend the whole of the EU long term. So it'll come as no surprise that there's a new program officially in the works, a joint venture of the European Union, to change that. It's a missile defense project known as the Timely Warning and Interception with Space-Based Theater Surveillance, or TWISTER, capability project, which is certainly a catchy name. 
Officially approved as of November 2019, the Twister Missile Defense Project is primarily intended as a defense system against possible attack, but will necessarily include the purchase and development of missiles intended to ward off said attacks. The EU will be working with MVDA, a defense firm that's a joint venture between Airbus, Leonardo, and BAE Systems to create an advanced, next-generation interceptor that can handle even hypersonic cruise missiles and moving target intermediate-range ballistic missiles. They aim to have this interceptor system up and running by 2030. And in the meantime, Europe will just have to make do with what it has, which really isn't too shabby. 7. The Trident Holbrook and New Nuclear Warhead Project as the United Kingdom steps back from the EU, they have begun development on a slew of new defense projects that will be designed and manufactured wholly in the UK. One such project is an update to their nuclear warheads. At present, the UK's most advanced missile warhead system is what's known as the Trident Holbrook. Trident 2 missiles purchased from the United States and combined with submarines and warheads built in the UK. The UK has had at least one ballistic missile submarine on patrol at any given time since the Cold War, when Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher first made the purchase order for Trident missiles from the USA. Today, their nuclear presence has been significantly reduced, but when it came time to choose between retiring their nuclear power and updating it, the current Trident system needs at least new missiles to continue functioning past 2020. The House of Commons voted overwhelmingly in favor of updating and replacing the program such that the United Kingdom might remain a nuclear power. That vote occurred back in 2016, and since then, the UK has been hard at work on the replacement. Rather than sourcing from the United States, this time all portions will ostensibly be designed and built within the UK. The new submarines will be four of the Dreadnought class of submarines being built by BAE Systems. The warheads and missiles will be designed and built by the Atomic Weapons Establishment AWE, in Aldermaston, near Reading in Berkshire, but there has been heavy suggestion that they'll be designed and built somewhat in tandem with the US's development of their new W-93 warheads. This was all meant to be somewhat hush-hush, but US officials accidentally spilled the beans about the program. Said Alan Schaffer, the Pentagon's Deputy Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, it's wonderful that the UK is working on a new warhead at the same time as us, and I think we will have discussions and be able to share technologies. Though he added that the two weapons will be independent systems. UK officials later confirmed that they would be working closely with the US so they can continue to fit with the Trident missiles as needed. 8. The F-41 and Rocket Force Looking further east, China cannot be missed on a list of the modern world's missile capabilities. To be clear, only five countries have land-launched ICBMs – North Korea, India, Russia, the United States, and China. Additionally, the UK and France have submarine-launched ICBMs, and that's it, in the whole world. So let's take a look at China's most advanced ICBM, the DIA-41 or Dongfang-41. It's a fourth-generation road mobile ICBM that uses solid fuel. Road mobile essentially means it can be moved and even launched from a truck or tractor unit. Notably, while North Korea's most recent test of the Hwasong-15 seemed to suggest it was road mobile, closer inspection indicated the truck was, well, decorative and that the missile itself had to be launched from the ground. The Dongfang, or East Wind 41, reportedly has an operational range of up to 9,300 miles, which would make up the world's longest range missile. As a ballistic missile, it relies on inertial guidance, but it's believed the DF 41 also makes use of China's satellite guidance system, Beidou. And if that weren't enough, Chinese leader Xi Jinping has pushed China to make rapid advancements in the field of missiles and rockets of all kinds, with recent demonstrations of anti-aircraft carrier missiles. Jinping also single-handedly created the PLA's Rocket Force, a unit of the People's Liberation Army once called the 2nd Artillery Corps which works exclusively in the field of rockets and missiles. The PLA is now a world force in the field, and may indeed hold the most powerful arsenal of missiles and related weapons in the world today. For our final two slots, we'll look at the most powerful weapons currently held by the only forces that may be able to rival them, Russia and the United States. 9. RSM-56 Bulava and the Hypersonic Missile System First, we turn to Russia. Russia has a number of big things happening right now. In 2018, after several successful tests after an initial 2013 failure, the RSM-56 Bulava was approved for service with the Russian Navy. 
It's a submarine launched ballistic missile intended for the new Russian Bore class of ballistic missile nuclear submarines. The RSM 56 is a three stage missile that starts with solid fuel, then transitions to liquid, and it has an operational range of 5,150 miles. It's lighter and more sophisticated than earlier Russian missile models and is exceptional for its advanced missile defense evasion capabilities. The Bulava is expected to be a part of Russia's new nuclear triad through at least 2040. However, perhaps more impressive is the new missile technology that is just entering service. As of December 2019, Russia now has hypersonic glide vehicles, or HGVs, entering service which are capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional payloads. Traveling at least at Mach 20, the new Russian HGVs are capable of sharp high-speed turns and maneuvers, making them nearly impossible to defend against with modern technology. Plus, while their existing ICBMs are fairly expensive, if Putin's word is good, they will soon be the first country to be capable of sending out global ballistic missiles, able to hit any point on the planet. Of course, Russian defense manufacturing has not historically been without its hiccups, but with these lofty goals in sight, their missile development program will be one to watch in the coming months and years. 10. LGM-30 Minuteman And for our 10th and final entry, we look to the United States. The US military, when you look across the spectrum, is likely the largest and most advanced in the world. However, when it comes to missiles, many US intelligence and defense officials have come to worry that the superpower has fallen behind. But that's not to say that America doesn't have some of the most powerful ICBMs in the world. And they certainly take the cake when it comes to nuclear stockpiles. Today, we'll focus on the LGM-30 Minuteman, the US's most intimidating ICBM to date, and, arguably, the most powerful fully active and functional ICBM on the planet today. The LGM-30 Minuteman is the United States' only land-based ICBM system, though they have several nuclear-armed submarines and bombers, and many other advanced missiles, like the previously discussed RIM surface-to-air family. Shockingly, the Minuteman II entered service all the way back in 1970. That said, it still ranks among today's greats. It has an operational range of over 8,000 miles and makes use of three-stage solid-fuel rocket engines. It can travel as fast as Mach 23. However, perhaps not surprisingly given when it was developed, it relies entirely on inertial guidance to hit its target. More impressive, however, is the sheer quantity in which it has been produced. There are 450 Minutemen currently active in the United States. While submarine-based ICBM tech has moved forward, it is surprisingly that the US has not updated or developed new land-based ICBMs. That said, there is a plan to do so, as at the end of 2019, it was made official that Northrop Grumman has won a contract to build the future ICBM for the USA. Called the Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent GBSD, Next Generation Nuclear ICBM, whatever they build is scheduled to be active by 2027, so it'll be fascinating to see what perhaps the world's most powerful and well-funded military can come up with to catch up with China's rapid advancements. And there you have it. Those are the 10 most incredibly powerful active missiles on duty in the world today, and a little bit about where missile warfare might be headed. What do you think? Do you find any more impressive than the others? Think we should all put down our missiles and hold hands? Or, well, bump elbows? Sound off in the comments, and give this video a thumbs up if you found this content interesting. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell notification button so you never miss out on true modern military secrets like these.